has Ashley Green gone? The stunning starlet has been absent from the big screen for a while, and we have a few theories as to why she hasn't made the transition from Twilight fame to household name. Ashley who? Ashley Green is stunning, but that hasn't yet meant name recognition. As a result, casting directors may not want to count on her to open a movie. She had a shot at marquee status in The Apparition, but the movie bombed, losing $7 million at the box office. It also received negative reviews, creeping up to only an 18% on Metacritic. Though it's unfair to pin all of the blame on Green, the film was designed to be her star vehicle and she just couldn't carry it. Straight to Video Outside of The Apparition and the Twilight films, many of Green's projects never got a wide release. Between 2011 and 2014, LOL, Butter, A Warrior's Heart, Burying the X, and Christie all had very limited screenings. That's only five movies, sure, but they represent a large portion of everything she released within that time span. Too Expensive Green and her co-star Kellen Lutz renegotiated their contracts for the final Twilight film, Breaking Dawn Part 2, with each reportedly requesting $2 million. Director Catherine Hardwick admitted she considered finding other actors for their roles, saying to People, quote, It would really break my heart if they were replaced, but it could happen. Things could turn ugly very quickly. They tell you to hold out for this much because you're such an important part of the franchise and everyone is telling you to ask for more. Green and Lutz eventually settled for approximately $1.25 million apiece, far less than Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart took home, but for far less work. Under the Radar Green doesn't attend a ton of events or entertain the paparazzi, which hurts her visibility, though she's had two relationships that drew attention. A flirtation with Twilight co-star Jackson Rathbone and a long-term relationship with Joe Jonas immediately following his split from Demi Lovato. For the most part, Green keeps her private life private and has enjoyed a low-key romance with Australian TV personality Paul Corey for the past few years. Not relatable For someone who's taken mostly supporting roles in teen movies, Green has a bit of a demanding side. She told Marie Claire that the Twilight movies gave her some real first-world problems, saying, quote, Twilight has ruined me. When this is all over, flying internationally is going to be very hard for me. It is just not worth it to buy a first-class ticket because of the cost." End quote. For the average person struggling to scrape together enough change for a middle seat in coach, Green comes across as pretty out of touch. Green Reborn Green could earn a claim by honing her craft and being more selective. Instead of playing the best friend, she should try getting a larger role in indie films that are smaller, and maybe smarter, than some of her recent roles. Her biggest issue seems to be that she's simply not picking great roles. A new agent may be able to work wonders for her and finally get her out of Alice Cullen's shadow. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know why you think Hollywood has kicked Ashley Green to the curb.